Mm. Good clean water, Rob, but it needs a little pepper. Could you Not, help me out? Uh, hot enough, eh? Mm. Okay. Uh, we'll say when. Oh, a bit generous more, quantity. more generous amount of pepper right. all across the surface. Oh, okay, yeah. But I want to check the temperature, so that's enough pepper. I'll just dip my finger in and see uh, whether it's warmer. Mm -hmm. It's about right, but look what it's done to my finger. Mm. Pepper everywhere. Have you ever noticed that? Whenever you stick your finger in a glass of water containing pepper every on the surface? Every time. Mm, it does. Watch what happens to this finger. Here we go again. Watch it carefully. How about that? <laughs> The pepper doesn't stick to my finger. In yeah, fact, it skims right. across the surface away from my finger. You must have something on that finger. Something on that finger? Yeah. Well, okay. I did have a little something. I smeared one drop of detergent all over that middle finger, and that mm. did it. Mm. You might like to try it yourself, but see if you can work out why pepper behaves in that way. Mm. Oh, well, there you are. Have a drink. Uh, who'd want to? Now. <laughs> Curiosity. Rob, I'm about to launch a matchstick in an ocean of tap water. Could right. you help me? Sure. Two of them, actually. See if we can make them into a V formation. There's one. Okay, well, let me nudge that around and put mine there. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Bit. Now, watch carefully that V as I take an ordinary plastic drinking straw and touch it between the two matchsticks. Look at that. Well, Isn't it amazing? Apart, they spring apart as if by magic. Well, it's just what you did before with detergent. No, but I didn't put my finger in the water this time. Well, a detergent is straw, surely. Yeah, exactly right. I had one drop of detergent on that end of the straw. But watch what happens this time, if we can get back to our V formation. Watch what happens when I put the other end of the straw between the two matchsticks. Are you watching? There's our V, and here's the other end of the drinking straw. Watch carefully what happens. I take it away, and slowly but surely, those two matchsticks come back together and touch one another. Well, Isn't that's that amazing? amazing. What if you dip the straw in the opposite of detergent, like a mm. dirty plate or something? Well, you're close. Actually, I dipped it into clean sugar, mm. and that reverses the action of the detergent. Try it out at home and see if you can work out why detergent has this effect on the surface of water and why sugar reverses that effect. And that's all for this week's Curiosity Show. Goodbye.